So some of you guys requested that I do a video on a list of things, you know, items that you might need for nursing school, especially if you be a day student, just to have an idea of things you can buy. So grab a pen, a paper, let's dive right in and look at some of the things that you will need as a nursing student going to nursing school. <music> My list of items are under five categories. The first category is cooking. If you are going to stay in a hostel that is not already furnished, then you will need a gas cylinder, the small portable one. And also you can buy the one with the fitted, the burner fitted on top, but that's one I don't like it because it's difficult to regulate. So if you have some money to splurge, I will advise that you buy the cylinder separate, buy a regulator and a tube, and then you add a burner to it. And if you can afford, you can add a two-in-one burner. So that can also help you cook faster. You can be preparing banku here and the soup is also here okay so that it cuts on your cooking time but if you can't afford the two you can buy just a single burner that's way it's easy to control and on and off and if you can also afford you can buy an auto ignition burner so crack and the fire is on so you don't have to buy matches all the time you know yeah and if you have some more funds available you can also buy a small portable rice cooker just a small one and take along because you are a student you'll be eating rice plenty rice so that can also help cut make life easy for you because you can come back from lectures just throw rice in the rice cooker and go and take your bath by the time you come back the rice is ready you eat and if you go back to steady you go and steady so when it comes to time management, rice cooker can also help. So for cooking, that is that. Let's come to cookware. Cookwares are things that you use in the kitchen to prepare food. So first of all, you need cooking pots. Ideally, a three-set a three set cooking pot is okay for you because you can cook, you know, you know how we cook our food. You can cook rice here, make the stew here, cook benku here, make the soup here, like that. You need a frying pan. Ideally, buy a... a non-stick frying pan because you'll be frying egg a lot yes you are students so your your easiest protein to grab will be egg so you'll be frying a lot of egg and it's also helpful when you are doing uh, breakfast things if you like pancake like me and all of that so we get a non-stick frying pan plates and cups i'll say two two or three plates will do for you and buy the unbreakable plates and get your cups because you'll be drinking tea a lot. Knives, knife for cutting, fork and spoon, wooden spatula for stirring your somethings. And if you like benku, like me, buy your benkuta. Strainers or colander, a small chopping board. Adding wear, adding wear and tapoli. Or you can buy a, bl a blender also. Or if your mommy has some, blender more than one blender in the house and all of them are working you can carry one along or you can buy this immersion blenders that is not so pricey get a great tattoo in case you want to great things vegetables you can get the plastic the flat plastic one that has two sides or if you have the money you can get the box one that has many sides get that and i have one that you can change the blades it's very cheap. I, I got it from Melcom, but you can change the blades. You can also get that. It's very, very handy in the kitchen. Then you can get some small food flags or food container that you can put your lunch in when you are going for lectures. Sometimes the hostel might be far from campus, so you have something to eat during the day and not starve. Then lastly, under cookware, you get bowls that you can wash your vegetables and things like two or three plastic bowls that's okay and two other smaller basins it's not big as a basin but it's also bigger than the prep bowl that you can do your dishes in except the school, the hostel you are going to stay in has sinks then you ignore this one moving on let's go to storage so for storage you need a barrel for storing water you know in ghana the Water doesn't flow sir, all the time. So you need something to store your water in and um, in case of in case it is, you have something to fall on. Ideally, I'll say buy um, around 180 liter barrels that can store enough water that can last you even a week 
should there be water shortage okay so you buy at least two buckets and if you can add a, a washing bowl that's okay then you need food storing containers i saw this one in malcolm some time ago very cheap but very durable you can buy such for your sugar salts gari you know anything that needs to be poured and close airtight you can get containers that can help you do that so that your things don't go bad for groceries you are looking at things that you can carry along that can last long you know that can last longer for the rest when you get to the town you can locate places that you can get these things to buy but there are things that you should always have in your kitchen so that even if you don't have money you are able to eat one is rice so you can go with a five kilo bag of rice spaghetti yes every student eats spaghetti tomato paste in a can or in the sachet vegetable oil red oil and you also need canned proteins uh, yeah canned proteins like uh, mackerel in tomato sauce sardines corned beef um, corn sausages canned sausages you know so that you have a quick source of protein to add to your meal you need your gari hey which student goes to school without gari you need your gari if you don't like eating gari then you can find other cereals maybe cornflakes and other cereals that you already eat at home you can buy some and take along and if you're an ever girl you know you are going to miss your akble you know you can prepare some cornmeal a war a war prepare some a war and put in your container so that once a while you akble with some raw pepper and kanami still under groceries you can go with tom brown samolina you know those morning porridge thing custard and co to whip up a quick breakfast eat before you go oats and all of that and of course your shito or uh, chili sauce in oil chili sauce i love green chili sauce it's so nice so you can go with shito or your green chili sauce so that you have quick, quick food. You get some fancy dokuno, pair it with your shito and some sardine, you are done, lunch is ready, you are gone, okay? So go with your shito, shito is a lifesaver. Shito will save your life. Green chili sauce is sweet. And other provisions, milo, powdered milk, sugar, you know, any other thing that you can put in your troubles that can help make your life easy, put that in there to help you as a day student okay moving on let's go to bath and bedding for your hygiene sets you need your toothbrush and toothpaste you need your sponge your towel your soap bathing soap you need your body lotion face cream whatever however you treat your face you need your deodorant to smell nice okay so that is for your hygiene set for your bed sets things you use to make your bed blankets, bed sheets, pillowcases, pillows. And depending on the weather, you need a duvet or comfortable. So if you are going to school in a whole area, you need something to keep you warm at night. So a duvet or a comforter is good. Or you get an extra blanket to cover yourself. And also you need curtains, curtains for your room. Even as boarders, we were asked to bring curtains. Yes, so you have to buy curtains too in case you are by the side the bed you get is at the near the window you can cover that place so that light is not always disturbing your sleep okay then when we come to laundry doing your laundry you need washing powder washing soap the bath soap you need your pegs for drying and you need to go with a drying line please don't forget your drying line go with a dry line even if you're a border go with your dry line because it's it's a tug of war during wash days you have to have your own dry line so that anytime any day you can wash and dry your things okay go with iron and hangers to hang your uniform so i think that is that for the list it's not exhaustive so if you have any other thing to add you can add and uh, some of these things you can get especially the cookware and things you can get from your mother's kitchen so go through your mother's kitchen the new silver set that she's packed somewhere that she's not using tell her when you become a nurse you replace it for her and carry things carry things from the kitchen other tips i'll give you is that when the day on the day that you set off at least prepare something small prepare some stew 
and some rice okay prepare some stew that can last you maybe three four days and go along with it so that it will help you settle down and before you know your left from your right if you are going with a rice cooker you can go with the stew and then you you'll be cooking your rice and your spaghetti and all in the rice cooker and then when you are fully settled you can start looking for other perishable foods along that you can buy to prepare your food with okay so go along with something already cooked for the beginning the next tip i'll give you is that when you are settled when you are settled look for the nearest market or if there is a major market around you have to know the location of that major market and learn their market days okay learn their market days because market days mostly farmers will bring things to the market food tends to be cheaper on market days than ordinary days so you plan your things around that knowing that okay if every tuesday is market day or every friday is market day i can go and buy my contemporary my tomatoes onions and things that can last me for the week or even for the month so you you have to locate the market or if the town itself is not having a market the nearest big market that things can be affordable locate that one and also locate shops that sell affordable groceries that you can buy and cook anytime you want because it's not every day that you'll be able to go to the market to go and buy the things you need okay and if you've been given admission but you the school is not having a hostel or you don't feel like going to the boarding house then watch this video next to guide you on what to look out for in your search for a place to stay as a day student i hope this video was helpful like it share and subscribe if you've not done that yet and i'll see you my next one. Bye.